Okay. What the hell is that guy? There's a book. Oh. What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to From the Journal of Randolph Warren Carter. Now, this is a psychological style horror game that just came out today on Game Jolt, and it's supposed to be, it looks pretty cool, the screenshots and everything that I saw, it's got that blocky style graphics to it, which I actually really like, it's kind of like a pixelated style graphics, but they're kind of bigger, um, I'm pretty sure from what I saw in the actual screenshots, it looks like a side-scrolling game, and it's a psychological horror, where, uh, actually I don't really know anything about it, I, I'm guessing it's from this dude's journal, I'm going to investigate his house, I don't know, Anyway, the game is technically only supposed to take roughly 15 minutes to beat, depending on your playstyle. So I wanted to check it out. There really wasn't anything else that released today on Game Jolt. And um, actually, I looked at this game a while ago, and uh, it didn't have any screenshots, so I didn't actually think anything of it. But once the screenshots went up, it actually looks really good. So let's actually jump into it and play it. I swear, it. everything I'm about to tell you is true from my own experiences and from the journal of Randolph Warren Carter. Okay. Adjust the brightness. Uh, I'm going to turn the brightness up so you guys can actually see. Not too, too bright to where it looks terrible. Okay, so yeah, it's a side-scrolling game, and I really like this graphic style. The music's actually pretty cool, too. Uh, I've got the music turned up, so you guys should be able to hear it as well. It definitely said at the beginning that you need headphones in order to play this game. Well, I got those, but I can't turn the lights out because you guys wouldn't have been able to see me. Not that a lot of you would probably really care. All right, let's actually play the game. Three times I knocked and received no answer. I stared deeply at the ancient oaken door that stood before me, its frame cracked and worn from use and exposure. Okay. I waited there, waited for a response that would never come. So are we in the I thing, or? For the handle. Not the thing. The, oddest realization the ring. Came to my mind. The door had sat upon a decrepit porch covered in dirt and leaves, yet it lacked a single footprint other than my own. Thus it appeared that no man had entered or left that house in some amount of weeks, perhaps even months. Then and there, I thought to leave at once. What Probably did I good owe idea. to my elderly great-uncle? Did this man who I had never met? I wish I had left. Oh, what a glorious thing it would have been to simply drive off and remain ignorant to the ongoings of that accursed abode! Yet, yet my uncle's letter remained fresh in my mind. God. Do I have to read this? Okay. To my dear grandnephew George, I realize we have never met and that I have never truly been a part of your family. These monthly letters may be a nuisance yet, nuisance, yet I hope you aren't ignoring my simple plea. I do not have much time left in this world, but I, oh, the world, and I am in dire need of an exec executor. To take care of the many things that I w th Fuck! Why can't I read? I'm sorry. The last two days, I haven't been able to read. Let me actually start this over again. I do not have much time left in this world, and I am in dire need of an executor to take care of the many things which I will leave behind. Please travel to my home so that we may speak in person. I fear the most dire of consequences if our meeting does not happen soon. So please, I beg of you, send some response to relieve this lonely old man of his despair. With love, Randolph Carter. Sorry guys, I don't know what the hell my problem is. I cannot read the past two days. I, yesterday I played the Pokemon Life Academy. Fantastic game, by the way. Still love it. Um, and I couldn't fucking read! Ah! What the hell's wrong with me? That letter was over a month old. I grasped the handle. I held my breath. I pulled the door open wide and surrounded myself in the darkness. That was a really loud opening. Arrow keys to move. Okay, space to interact with objects. Okay, F to turn on or off flashlight. The flashlight is necessary to read notes and venture further into the house. To change flashlight angle, use... Okay. I think I got it. Can I use WASD, yeah, though? Here. Good thing I brought my flashlight. Wait, it... Okay, so it is using just the arrow keys. Eh, eh. Okay. I can't actually angle my flashlight up or down. That's weird. So the first... <coughs> God, making that noise really killed my throat. Sorry. First thing I want to say, the graphics and everything look pretty... Pretty good. Um, I like how the flashlight's like part of his arm, but it reminds me of uh, when you're holding a torch in uh, Minecraft. 
So yeah, honestly, I don't mind the graphic style. Everything looks pretty decent. Uh, the, okay, there we go. Now I can angle it up. I don't know what I might need to do that. I don't even know if there's actually going to be creatures in this game. Uh, or if there's actually anything. So I can turn the light on. Um, uh, what? Uh, the, the batteries ran out. I'll need to find more. Wow, the animation on him actually walking without a flashlight is not bad. So you brought a flashlight without... It looks like a note. But I can't read it without my flashlight working. Okay. Uh, I need to find some batteries. A stairway. But I shouldn't go up there yet. Okay. Not until I fix my flashlight. So I like the fact that the developer actually... I don't know if it's the developer reading the lines. I'm guessing it is. I like the fact that there's actually dialogue in the game. And a lot of times in these type of games, all it is is subtitles at the bottom of the screen with you reading them. I do like that, but it also takes away, uh, takes away from the game for somebody like me who likes to do Let's Plays and stuff like that. Um... Even though his voice acting is way better than mine. It looks like a note. But I can't read it without my flashlight working. Alright, I need to... F can this I... This door is locked. Okay. Apparently I can't go in there. I like what? the anim... Batteries. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Alright, can I get some batteries now? Okay, hi. You must be my uncle. How you doing? Just hanging out? Just the swinging in the breeze? Yeah, so this is what has become of my uncle. Yeah, he hung himself in the kitchen. Oh, the smell. He's been dead for weeks. Like you wouldn't smell it before you came in here. Oh, that's it? Okay. A fridge. Probably full of rotten food. Oh my god, this... Okay. To my nephew George, should you never read it. It has become too much, the screaming in my head. The... Uh, 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 the abhorrent? The abhorrent monstrosities which I picture in the in the darkness following me every day only to escape from the view from view the instant I turn my head. The insanity which I have been struck with has to has to do with mental illness or dis dysfunction dysfunction of the brain. No, I tell you and pray that you believe me that this madness which enveloped my psycho my psyche is one cast down from an ancient cosmic force. It is from some god with an unspeakable name and a, visi and a visage, wow, which invokes unfathomable terror. Holy shit, I ha cannot read, and these words are really big. What the hell is wrong with me? Ah, like I can read just fine in my head, but as soon as I have to actually speak it, it's like, Ugh. I'm sorry, you guys probably can't stand it. I'm sorry, you guys can read it yourself if you want, but god damn, I cannot read. Ugh. That said, I must give the following instructions before I am betrayed yet again by my mind. You must go upstairs to my study and find a peculiar a peculiar book, the necro the Necronomicon, okay. The page of the paper n incantation is marked, yet never speak it aloud, not unless the time is right. On the first of every month you must travel to the basement book in hand and speak aloud the incantation. Do not venture into the attic. Please, I beg of you, do no do these things, and perhaps your fate will not be the same as mine. For all this, I am sorry. Randolph Warren Carter. Okay, so is this gonna pull like a whole like uh lost aspect where if you don't actually read the incantation then everybody's gonna die? Or if you don't press the keys on the on the actual like computer? There we go. Okay, I was trying to get the note to go away. Okay, so I need to, what, I need to go up to, come on, there we go, I need to go upstairs to the study and get the Necronomicon and then read the incantation in the basement. Okay, I can do that. From the Journal of Randolph Warren Carter. November 7th, 1904. Today I leave for one of the most groundbreaking archaeological expeditions in history. My journey will take me to the, to the lush jungles of the Amazon rainforest. There, a deal has finally been bro brokered, brokered with the local inhabitants. Though certainly it is our excavation team that will come ahead on the exchange, for we will be given the right to research, explore, and, in a, manage, in a manner of speaking, plunder one of their ancient temples. Never before has an historian, archaeologist, or other man of the science been allowed access to these temples. However, there is a hint of sadness within me, for I must leave my beloved Lillian at home. This year long... This year-long campaign will surely be lonely without her embrace, though perhaps as a token of my love and thoughts for her, and if it is not too much of a bother, I can send back some minor knickknacks or the curiosity that I find unattended within the temple walls. My sadness regarding Lillian, Lillian aside, I do however feel positively giddy simply thinking of the archaic wonders which we, which we might find in the mysterious monolith. What? Everybody and developer, I'm so sorry that I'm botching this so badly. I don't know why I cannot read today. I don't know. Oh god. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, so there was actually two other notes back here that I want to read before I actually go anywhere. Oh, God, let's see if I can actually read one without fucking destroying my face. God damn. January 18th, 1905. After two months of digging, the fruits of our labor have finally surfaced. Aside from some strange hieroglyph hieroglyphics. Hier hieroglyphs? Shouldn't it say hieroglyphics? Okay. After some strange hieroglyphs that our resident linguist was enamored with, the temple itself was rather void of interest to the, ac to the academics on our team. However, after some minor excavation around the outside and a few sticks of dynamite to remove an ant antiquated, antiquated stone wall, we opened a doorway into an underground crypt. Gathered around the open portal, we stand deeply into the black void. Before us, I found myself shaking, fearing the seemingly never-ending darkness that laid before me. And yet, thoughts of the knowledge we might gain amongst the many other treasures had entered my mind and calmed my spirits. With newly found resolve and torch in hand, I led the party inside the dungeon, illuminating the cracked stone walls which had been untouched by light for some hundreds of years. Wow, cool. So this guy was a pretty badass archaeologist. Really like that. Okay, I don't know why it did that for a second. It, like, clicked twice. All right. All right, uh, January 22nd, 1905. So this is four days after. <coughs> ah! The cavernous crypt was much larger than any of us would have expected. The various hallways and corridors seemed to stretch endlessly through the darkness, leaving us with countless rooms to explore. It was quickly discovered that we would need that we would need to leave markers as we delved into the tombs, lest we find ourselves lost in the maze-like arch architecture. For, these, for three days, we examined room after room, hallway after hallway, discovering nothing but mummified remains, primal forms of pottery, miscellaneous jewelry made from beads and bone, and more mundane hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs. I don't know why. I, I keep stumbling on that. God, what the hell is wrong with my voice? I keep stumbling on that because I'm so used to saying hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphs. Such findings as these were not of much interest to me. Yet today, I made a magnificent discovery. I decided to wander an unexplored portion of the crypt alone. A large risk, but one I was eager to take. As I itched... As I itched... I shouldn't say inched. Okay, there's an N missing there. As I itched to discover some great treasure hidden inside these stone walls. Or maybe it actually makes sense. God damn it, what the hell is wrong with me? One particular corridor enveloped in shadow called out to me. I quietly crept... Yeah, I quietly crept away from the party and rarely marked my path. After what felt like hours, I chanced upon a chamber. Its entrance but hidden behind the door of a lonely sar sarcophagus? I think that's what that word is. The room was filled with marvelous treasures, golden trinkets, shelves of ancient scrolls, and in the center on a pedestal was a statue unlike anything I had ever seen. Okay, can I there we go? All right, uh, so there was nothing else that way, so I have to go upstairs I'm guessing the other door would lead me to Okay, those were really loud stairs. All right, there's a note here These plants have been dead for weeks. I suppose that makes sense though, huh? Oh, he's talking about the plants in the area. Okay, January 22nd. I cradled the statue in my arms <coughs> God damn it Oh, I cradled the statue in my arms, sliding my hand across its figure. The aberrant image, yeah, the aberrant image of it still lingers in my mind. It seemed to be a sort of monster or symbol representing a monster of a form which only, which only a diseased fancy would conceive. If I say that my somewhat extravagant imagination yielded simu sim simultaneous pictures of an octopus, a dragon, and a human character, character. Caricature. Wow, I don't know what the hell is wrong with me today, and I can't pronounce some of these words. I shall not be unfaithful to the spirit of the thing. A pulpy, tentacled head surmounted a grotesque and scaly body with rudimentary wings. No doubt the statue was simply a representation of one of the culture deities. A monstrous manifestation of a god is not unheard of. Yet the most peculiar thing to me was that as I felt along its base, the geometry of the statue seemed to contrast with the appearances. Sharp corners poking my hand from what appeared to be a, a circular base. At first, it felt triangular, and then hexagonal, and then all sorts of poly polygonal shapes. The poking corners were indeed painful, but did not draw blood. Nonetheless, I was, I was enamored with this strange object, despite its horrid appearance. I moved to place it in my bag and hide it from the rest of the expedition, but unbeknownst to me, a shadowy figure had formed behind me. Suddenly, a cold hand was placed on my shoulder, and with a surprise shriek, I swung about to identify my molester. Well, that's a hell of a, that's a very, like, stern way to say, oh my god, somebody's behind me. From the, okay, January 30th. That bastard Winston Dudley Sanderson, propri proprietor of Miscanton, 
miscantonic historical museum has stealthily crept behind me as I traversed the crypt's dark corridors. As I was about to whisk away my prize from its pedestal, he grabbed me from behind. I shouted in terror, yet the snob simply con congratulated me on the excellent find. All the treasures in the room were quickly ex excavated by the remaining members of the party, and I collected together in a tent at the center of the camp. Winston, himhel Winston himself always seemed to keep guard, that is, until his recent bedridden state for a bout of sickness has suddenly caught him. Oh, okay. A ladder. This must go to the attic. He said not to go to the attic. Uh, okay. Where's this guy's... I don't know where this guy's desk is. Okay, so this must be his room. There's another note right here. It's comfy. I wish I had time to sleep. Oh, what horrors have happened. Old Winston seems to have contracted some sickness of the brain. A maddening disease causing terrifying fits of re violence. Late last night, he caused quite the co commotion. <coughs> Whilst in a state of madness, he began wandering the camp, muttering incoherences about his dreams of a Cathalm? Cathan Thulu, just mindless drivel. We paid little heed to him at first, thinking he had simply gone loony from his fever and thus posed no threat. Oh, but the poor young graduate stood but the poor young graduate student in his mid twenties, who came all the way here to simply learn more about the archi architecture of ancient temples, attempted to calm Winston during his ranting. The boy only put his hands on Winston's shoulder, yet with a scream of I'll never let you take me to take me to them, Winston clamped his teeth on the boy's neck. The locals called this event a curse of the gods. Yet any man has educated us. Yet as okay. Yet any man as educated as I would guess that Winston, in his frail old body, was far too easily susceptible to the disease of the surrounding jungle. Though in the panic he caused, I was able to swiftly sneak into the tent of the treasure, sneak into the tent of the treasures, and snatch away my beloved statue, soon to be packaged and sent home to my lovely Lillian. Shame about Winston and the boy. They couldn't stop the bleeding. Wow. Okay. So you're kind of an asshole. I'll absolutely agree that. All right, so I know we're, I, I know I've already gone past the time that I said this game is gonna take, but I want to explore everything. This must go to the attic. I don't want to go to the attic. The guy told me not to go to the attic. He said to go find his book and then go to the basement. Is the book over here? Is this is okay? So this is must be his library. December thirteenth, nineteen oh six. I finally get back home after a month and a year. After a month and a year, I finally get back home. What do I find? My beloved Lillian, pregnant. Disgusting, I tell you. Disgusting. She's already in her ninth month. The harlot couldn't couldn't remain faithful for four months, let alone a measly year? The worst part is her delusionary excuses. She refuses to tell me who she laid with. Oh, Randy, I swear to you, she says. I have always been faithful to you and only you. Ha! Such blasphemy. So what am I supposed to believe? That she was chosen by God? That her child is the second coming of Christ? Well then, all hail the new Messiah. What a load of horse shit. Oh, okay. This must be the book mentioned in my uncle's note. Okay, so now I gotta go to... It said go to the basement, right? I can't save or anything like that, but I do want to actually go to the attic. Screw it, I'm gonna go up there. He said not... That didn't sound good. Let's go to the attic and see what happens. A ladder. This must go to the attic. Oh, there's the statue. What was that? That was the statue, wasn't it? Okay. It was the statue. It was that damn statue. I know it! It has to be. I know it. The visions, the dreams, the shadows sneaking around every vile corner. That bastard Winston, he was right. His dreams, my dreams, our dreams about that scaly monstrosity. Cthulhu. I think it's supposed to say Cthulhu. Its name is Cthulhu. Oh, its, it's name is Cthulhu. I don't dare speak it aloud for even as I write it on this page, it feels as though my mind is sinking deeper into a never-ending void. And Lillianne, my beloved Lillianne, why did I disregard her pleas? She did not lie to me. All along, she was faithful. What am I left What am I left with? Now that Lillianne is gone from this world, that child, that bastard child, that's what I'm left with. Someone must take care of him. It must be done. Though the statue, yes, that accursed statue, it, whoever, has been taken over, has been taken care of. With my hammer, heavy in my hand, I smashed that monstrous, monstrous thing to bits. Whatever pieces remain, I threw straight into the fire. But why? Why does my brain still ache? Uh, that's a good question. Okay, my flashlight is dead. That sucks. Oh, ah! What is that noise? What the fuck? Everything is opposite now. Okay. This is really weird. Like, to go left, I have to hold right. And to go right, I have to go, le go left. Actually, it makes sense, though, because of... God, that going down the stairs is really creepy. If it was actually flipped the other way, it makes sense. Okay, cool. So this is back to normal. I still don't have my flashlight. What? I just, I just left this room. 
wasn't... Wasn't this the hallway I was just in? Okay, that's the same one. I just wanted to make sure. Also, there's the statue right there. What? I just... I just left this... Dear God. Oh, this can't be real. What the hell's going on here? Okay, that's really fucking creepy. I mean, it's cool as hell, but it's creepy too. Okay, so this is back in the kitchen. I just wanted to see if maybe there were more batteries. Ah, the noose is gone. The guy's not here anymore. I know he was like, there's like 50 of his bodies. Nope, I didn't want to do that. This is creepy. This is really fucking creepy. Look at this. Oh my god, dude. That is terrifying. All the fucking, like, there's multiple of them. Ugh, god. Alright, this is the... God, that going down the stairs is creepy. It's really loud. Yeah, nothing creepy or scary about that at all. Can I read this? I can't. I don't have a flashlight now. It was a. It was on a Christmas. Uh, it was on Christmas Day that she first felt her contractions. Of course, the day was just a co coincidence. I called for a doctor, and swiftly he came. Such great pain she was in. My Lillian, the doctor and his nurses, they did the best they could, but it wasn't enough. My poor Lillian, she did not survive. They couldn't stop the he hemorrhaging. She bled and she bled, and her screams still echo in my mind. There was something wrong with the baby. Abnormal presentation, or a umbilical cord issue perhaps. I do not know, but they had major difficulties in expelling the child. By the time they removed the body, it was far too late for Lillian. Even after all she suffered, she was never able to see the child. Yet it wouldn't have mattered. The baby was stillborn. It arrived strangely mutated. They could hardly tell the difference between the fetus and the afterbirth. Extra eyes that aren't extra eyes, the arms and legs, elongated in the skin. It was scaled like a lizard. Almost whatever heinous disease had done this, I do not know. But despite, Lillian, but despite Lillian's betrayal, I never wished for an outcome such as this. And the child, what did it do to deserve such a fate? It would have been a boy. Okay. Nothing. There was nothing there. Before me stood a massive hole where a wall had once been. It spanned nearly 12 feet high. What the hell are those? Feet across. The walls were littered with the marks of some beast. Oh, marks. Scrapes left behind from sharp, angry claws. A foul-smelling ooze covered the floor throughout the room. The secretory remnants of the vile fiend. Carcasses of various animals laid about. They were not but blood and bone. They were difficult to verify. A couple were perhaps from cows. There were smaller ones that were likely dogs. Aww. Yet mostly they were heaps of fleshless bone rendered unrecognizable by devouring jaws. However, at least three were unmistakably human. It was now clear that this basement had become the lair of some monstrous terror that before had been kept at bay by my uncle's spells. This is what he wanted me for. The incantations in the book I found. They were necessary to prevent this horror from being released. It's already been released. I was too late in my response. A month had passed since the incantation was last spoken, and yeah. my uncle had hung himself in madness. And so I flipped through the pages of that eldritch manual, memorizing every word, and frightfully I waited in the darkness for the creature's return. Wow. Okay, so that was actually pretty cool. That was that was a really good game. I'm, I'm not disappointed at all. Um, I'm sorry for screwing up so many times when it comes to the reading and everything. There was a lot of big words there, so, you know, I know. I'm 21 years old and I'm having that many problems reading those words. But when it comes to nowadays, I don't think, I can't remember the last time I said half of those words that I flummoxed. So, like, I, I don't know. I, it's just words you don't see every day. You kind of mess up. Anyway, this is a really cool game. The writing was fantastic, I have to say, when it comes to those journal entries and everything. Developer, that was a great job with that. You also did a really good job with the voice acting and everything. Um, I know it does kind of take away from me because I just had to sit here in silence. But that's fine because he did an actually really good job and I was still able to read all of the notes. I know it told me not to go to the attic, but I figured there would be something up there. I'm glad I did, though, because there was that actual, um, there was that other... 
uh, note that I found up there, so you might have actually been able to miss that. Also, it was all creepy. Like, it was very, very basic. It was technically only, what, like five rooms? But it still got me scared a couple times, and I honestly expected to see the creature. I'm kind of disappointed that you didn't actually see it. But it also gives you, like, reading all the notes and everything, it lets you create the creature in your mind and kind of have your own image of it. So I think that was pretty cool. All in all, not bad. It was pretty short. It only took me, what, like 25 minutes to get everything? Um, I, or like 20 minutes, I should say, to go through the entire game, read every note, mess up a bunch of times. Again, sorry about that. But it was still a really cool game. Developer, nice job. So anyway, if you guys want to check this game out for yourself, there'll be a link to the game in the description below. Go play it. If I happen to miss anything, I don't think I miss anything, but I've ha if I happen to miss anything, let me know in the comment section below. Um, and it, yeah, basically let me know what you guys think of this game. Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Did you guys agree with me in the sense that it's a good thing not seeing the creature because it lets you make an old image make your own wow what the hell is wrong with me make your own image in your mind uh, about what the creature might actually actually look like jesus what is wrong with me i can't talk today anyway thank you all so much for watching make sure to check out some of the other videos that i've done and i will see you guys next time maniacs out hair. that's crazy hair you got there by the way that's actually his hair hat what oh i got that a lot but yeah this is a hat it's May! Wow, it is a really dark and gloomy- <laughs> AH! Jesus, what the hell? I uh, okay?